Gun sights on aircraft started as simple crosshair style fixed sight arrangements. The crosshair represented the gun line or where the barrel of the gun was actually pointed. With these early gun sights, the pilot had to work out the lead angle required to hit the target in their heads. Lead angle is calculated by accounting for the aircraft's motion, the target's motion, the target range, and the projectile time of flight. The resulting angle is the lead required to hit the target, assuming they don't change course. A gun sight revolution came in the form of optical reflector sights and gyro gun sights in World War II. The gyro gun sight gave a visual representation of where the bullets were predicted to hit if the trigger was pulled at that moment. The marker in the sight that shows the predicted impact location is called the predicted impact point, or PIP for short. The pilot could adjust the PIP reticule to account for the target's range and the gyro gun sight automatically computed target lead angle by taking the pilot's aircraft angle of bank and bullet drop into account. This early version of lead angle computing did not take the target's motion into account, but still required the pilot to adjust the sight to compensate for range. With the advent of computers and radar systems, the gun sights on modern day aircraft automatically calculate the range and speed of the target and project an accurate lead computed gun pip on the HUD. This system is referred to as Lead Computing Optical Sight System or LCOS. LCOS is much easier to use as it does all the calculations for the pilot, allowing them to concentrate on manoeuvring to bring the guns to bear. Star Citizen's Intelligent Target Tracking System, or ITTS, works in the same manner as the LCOS system. The ITTS uses the ship's radar to calculate all the required parameters and project the predicted impact points along the HUD. The pips project from the gun cross along a lag line with different shapes designating different weapon types. Squares represent laser repeaters. Circles represent laser cannons. Diamonds represent ballistic repeaters, and inverted triangles represent ballistic cannons. If the weapons are out of range, the pip will appear as a NO symbol. If the pips overlap or converge due to being close enough to the target or projectile time of flight matching, the ITTS will display a combined pip. This gives a single point of aim for the converged weapons. The different weapon time of flight is shown by spacing of the pips along the lag line, indicating the required lead for each weapon. The slower the weapon projectile, the further along the lag line the pip will be. The ITTS can also be configured to display the pips projecting from the target ship. In this mode, the lag line is replaced by a lead line. If your ship is equipped with gimbaled weapons, the lag line and pips for the gimbaled weapons will be projected from the line of sight marker. The line of sight marker shows the direction the pilot is looking. Maneuvering to place your pips over the target will give you a high chance of a hit. Having a good understanding of how the ITTS works will help in deciding when it is the best time to squeeze the trigger. More projectiles on target, higher chance of a kill. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the community hub on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.